showing you how to change your finder icon. As you can see right now, I have the regular finder icon. And as you saw before, I had like this finder icon right here. If you saw my other videos. And um, I'll be teaching you how to replace your finder icon without using candy bar. So the first thing you're just going to need is any icon that you want. I just looked in Google and found this. And if it isn't already, change it to a .png file and rename it Finder. Lowercase, everything like that. It has to be exactly like that. The, the size doesn't have to be like that, but it has to be Finder.png. So then open up Macintosh, your Macintosh hard drive. Go to System, Library, Core Services. Scroll down here. And I just pass it. Ah, here it is. Okay, so to Finder. Com you won't be able to do it this way because you're not going to have enough permission. So, we'll see. Yep, you probably won't be able to. Yeah, we'll never change it this way. So what you have to do is you have to right click or secondary click, which on a trackpad is two fingers, tap, show package contents, go to contents, go to resources, scroll down here for this, finder.icns. Now, I already have a folder in my folder for backup icons. But if you don't already, just make one. So just drag it in. So you have a copy of that. Then make a copy of the finder icon you're using. Option drag. And then you have to change this to finder. Well, note first change it to .icns. And then click use dot icons. Rename it finder. Then you need to command delete that blah. And it'll prompt you to type in your password. Then drag this in. Authenticate. Again, it'll ask you to type in your password. You have to be administrator to do this, or else you'll have to go to administrator's account. Or just type in administrator's name. Then go to finder. Go to secure empty trash. Okay. So that's the first part that you have to do, so that all finder things will be changed. But you're going to have to relaunch things later. Then go back. Well, we can undo this. Now, go back to the core services. And go to doc. Show package contents. Contents. Resources. This is also how you change icons. Like dashboard. You rename it dashboard.png. If you want to change like the boxes and dashboard clients. Like different page things. You can change everything from here, including doc skins and how you can change your stacks background. Like I did. If you want to see this, watch my video on that. So, and the same with the trash cans. You can watch my video with that. Now, so, go back to your Finder. Now, again, make a copy of this. Because if you ever need to store it, you need to have the icons. Then take this, command delete. It's going to ask you to authenticate. Then drag in the new finder. Click authenticate. Okay. Then again, finder, secure empty trash. Okay. And you'll probably want to make a backup copy of this too, of the icon. And then just re sort everything again. Then the next thing you're going to need is an application. Oopsie. Okay. 
um, which you can get from titanium.free.fr. I talked about this before. Titanium.3.fr. No, it's something's wrong on my internet. Let's see, hold on. Yeah, uh huh. Apparently, you need the WW for this website. So then just download the Onyx here, and that's all you have to do there. So once you have it, just open up Onyx. You should check this. You really should check this, so do so. But since I just checked it before doing this video, I'm not going to because it takes a while and it'll freeze, as you can say, as you can see, or your computer may not respond. Freeze. So I'll just cancel that for now. It'll prompt you to type in your password. Can kill the important that HTML thing. Open up cleaning. Go to user, and then go to execute. Click continue, and it will clean various things. You can also use this to clean all your caches and that way you can save disk space because caches can build up very quickly. And anything that's pre-checked it's okay to just go ahead and delete it and go ahead and clear that stuff. Now it's going to tell you to restart so I'll restart in a second but as you can see now I have this cool finder icon and if I let's say open this up and it still has the finder icon here and um, now this as you can see looks a little stretched but if you use Rapido Resizer you can then change the size just so that it looks more square is this had to stretch it but I don't really mind so if you want to get Rapido Resizer, I'll put the link to that on the right of the video. So this has been a tutorial on how to change your finder icon without using Candy Bar and how to change the finder icon down here. And if you want to know how I change my stacks and my trash cans also without using Candy Bar, you can look at my video for that. And if you like my videos, please subscribe. And thanks for watching. And there's one more thing is I'm currently working on an Apple Script application just to so you can change your um, backgrounds here. But right now I'm running into a little error. It runs and everything, but it's just prompting me that it can't turn this into type classy full. So that's it. So again, thanks for watching and please subscribe. Bye. Thanks, thanks for, for watching, watching and please subscribe.